right. And we're going to be taking a long break from our live programming as we get some crews ready to go to Nashville. The rest of us here at HSN are going to be going somewhere else in Florida. In this case, we are going to a very strong hotel in Orlando. The Harrisons, Eddie and Kelly, will be going there too. And that, I'm sure you're ready for what's going to be a monster hurricane. It is going to be a monster hurricane, Peter. Hurricane Irma is going to bring real big rain, real big winds, presumably to the Tampa Bay area of Florida. I don't know if it's going to hit Orlando or not. So, things are going to turn out right for us. We are going to be safe, we are going to keep our family members and friends protected, and we are going to do whatever we can to stay safe and survive Hurricane Irma from Florida. All right. So, Matt, I guess we're still going to survive Irma from Florida while the others go to Nashville, Tennessee. Well, I'm right about that while the rest goes to the Music City, for sure. Well, you gotta be kidding, are you? I am, Peter. But things are turning out right for us. Well, as we take our break here at our HSN campus for several hours, we're going to make preparations for Hurricane Irma. That's right. But I can help you prepare for the storm, Peter. Yes, Matt. But it'll be all right. I'm not ruining anything bad. We are going to feel safe and comfortable in the strong Orlando Hotel. Oh, well, a friend would love to have fun during the same stay in Orlando. Oh, well, I guess Nashville is going to be as fun for the people who are going to Nashville. But unlike those people who are going to the Music City, guess where we're going? We're going to the same hotel that's in Orlando where the rest of some HSN personalities are going. Is that where they're going, Matt? Of course, and they're going there, Peter, and I agree more. Well, I've got a lady who can help us survive the worst of this hurricane. It's my friend, Susan. The rest of the Miller family is surviving the hurricane somewhere else. And I do believe that Susan is going to survive Hurricane Irma like the rest of the Millers. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Susan these days. She's been busy making final preparations for this massive storm around the Tampa Bay area. Like, um, hurricane shopping. Have you been hurricane shopping, Matt? Yes, I have been hurricane shopping. I've been preparing for the worst of a hurricane in a long time. Well, I know that a major hurricane hasn't hit West Central Florida in a long time. Is that right, Matt? Well, I guess you're right, Peter. Well, you gotta be kidding, are you? I am kidding, Peter. I agree, Matt. I agree 100%. And by the way, we are going to make preparations for several hours before we go. The Harrisons, Eddie and Kelly, can help us prepare for this massive storm, as well as great, talented, and happy models. Models who work with us on the air, usually. And here's one of them. That's Regina. <laughs> Regina is good enough. With blonde hair, she's got a cute look. Even in a wardrobe that will have fun. I mean, even in wardrobe that looks like the best shapewear that she's ever worn. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
I'm sorry about that. But let's make preparations for this massive hurricane. I can't believe it's about to hit Florida for sure. You know, I know a lot about Regina. Me too. And that, yes, Peter, we're already making preparations for the worst of the storm. We've already gone hurricane shopping this past week. We sure have. And there are people having a lot of flashlights, a lot of batteries, a lot of portable TVs, a lot of portable DVD players, and a lot of portable CD players. That's right, a lot of portable audio players in the event of power outages. Are those the devices that people could use in the event of power outages of any kind? Yes. But I'd like to make sure you and many others have no injury of any kind during this tragic event, and we will be very happy, while the others who might not be able to survive the hurricane die. Well, I hope they don't die for sure now. Me too, Peter. We're going to be safe and comfortable, right? Right. Being safe and comfortable is good. But safety here at HSN is our top priority. Priority number one? Sure. And we expect this to be a massive storm. It's still going to be a massive storm. A major hurricane? Yeah, there has ever been good times, but there hasn't been a major hurricane here in Florida in a bunch of years. Presumably, there hasn't been one in over a decade. In this case, it really is going to be a major hurricane for sure. Oh well, it'll be all right though. We're just having fun, but thanks for drinking tea as we get set to deal with Hurricane Irma. <laughs> We're still going to deal with Irma in Florida while the others go to Nashville. Well, that's right. Regina. Hi there. Hi. Hey, Peter. Hey, Matt. Oh, well. I've got good news. You're going to be coming with us, you're going with us all, to a strong Orlando hotel. Is that true, Regina? It really is true, Peter. I'm one of your friends. Oh, well. It'll be all right, though. The Harrisons and their best friend, Valerie, will be going with us. And that same Valerie has been a show host here at HSN for over a year now. She's been making last-minute preparations for a while now. I'm sure the Harrisons have been making last-minute prep as well. We don't have to worry because we're not going to be able to panic during this tragic event. No, we're not. But things are going to be all right for anyone who would love to survive a hurricane quite like this. As we all know, we are making good preparations for a good event. Well, a friend hopes that we're all prepared for a monster. Oh, well, we really are prepared for a monster. Hurricane, that is. And, Peter, I can't believe we're going to be all right during this massive hurricane. We sure are, Matt, but things are going to be fine for a lot of people who love to deal with hurricane preparedness. Well, it'll be fine. We will be all right. And we are going to make a lasting impression as we prepare from here at HSN for the next several hours. 
we don't have to worry. We don't want to have injuries of any kind during this tragic time. Hey, Matt. Yes, Regina. My friend Nikita is going to go with us. Is Nikita going to be with you? Yes. She could partner with me. She should love to be a good partner. All right. Did Nikita show up next to you or what? She did. Um, hi, Nikita. Hi, guys. Hi, Peter. Matt, ready for a monster? Oh, well. I guess it'll be all right, though. So, yes, Nikita. Matt and I are ready for a monster. Hurricane, that is. Hurricane Irma is going to bring big rain, big winds, and the possibility of a big storm surge to the Tampa Bay area. And we're going to survive. Yes, we are. It's going to be a great time, and we're going to enjoy it. It's usually fun here at HSN. But we're about to have some hurricane fun for the next couple of days. Yeah, that's right. And it'll be okay. But it should be all right. We have to have a massive event like this. Yeah. A friend could catch his breath before he does a lot of things. As he prepares for Irma and the worst of it. How are these ladies going to deal with the worst of Hurricane Irma? Oh well, I can't believe she's going to hit the Tampa Bay area and bring too much rain, too much wind, and the possibility of a big storm surge. All right, we're going to have to deal with the storm very seriously. <laughs> Susan is very happy to be a part of the hurricane fun with us. The rest of the hurricanes were all right in 2004. Oh, well. The other hurricanes were right in 2004. The rest of the Noah family might have to survive Irma somewhere else. Susan may come and survive Hurricane Irma, as far as I'm concerned. Susan would love to survive Hurricane Irma, but we're going to have to help her survive anyway. We're also going to help the Harrisons, Eddie and Kelly. We're going to help the Harrisons survive the storm. They know Irma is going to hit town. She's going to make landfall here in Florida, and she's going to be a monster. <laughs> she really is going to be a monster, isn't she? Well... I'm right about that. But things are doing great here at HSN, and we are going to look good as we get set to deal with a storm like this. There's never been one quite like this. We won't be able to be trapped here in the Tampa Bay area. We've got to go! We've got to evacuate! <laughs> well, that's right. We sure do have to go, because... We sure do have to go before the storm makes it to town. In this case, Irma. <laughs> ready, Peter? I sure am ready, but we are almost ready. All of us here at HSN are almost ready to deal with Irma. And I'm going to drink my tea. <laughs> but we're going to be all right. <laughs> yep, we sure are. Anyway, it'll be good enough for anyone who wants to survive the worst of a hurricane like this. I'm sure there would not be a hurricane quite like this until now. Is it going to be a monster, Peter? It sure is going to be a monster, Matt. They believe it's a Category 5 hurricane. <laughs> Let's hope it gets downgraded before it can hit 
Tampa Bay area really hard. All right. We're already dealing with a good subject. We're dealing with preparing for the storm. It'll be all right. <laughs> hey, Sonia, what do you think? Mm. What I think about preparedness for Hurricane Irma, it's going to be so much fun as we get set to prepare for the worst of the storm. What are you wearing right now, Sonia? I am officially wearing um, the same clothing that I wore during Brett so last hour. Wow. Well, it's about time for us to be prepared because Irma is about to make landfall in Florida as Brett told the viewers. I can't believe Brett told the folks at home about Irma. But is everybody ready? <laughs> Nikita, you got to go make your own preparations because the storm is going to make landfall real soon. Trust me, you're going to want to survive the storm, lady. Oh, yeah. It'll be all right. The storm is not expected to hit West Central Florida until sometime soon. Let's hope it gets downgraded before the storm hits. Well, we really hope it gets downgraded before it can hit the Tampa Bay area of Florida for sure. We're making preparations right now. We're packing everything. <laughs> the Harrisons can help us when they wake up. Eddie and Kelly? Yeah. Those are the Harrisons. They'd love to survive a hurricane quite like this. As we know, we are happy to have a fun time here at HSN. As usual. Oh well. A friend of mine would love to have to go to work one day. And there's a possibility of people going nuts. Oh well. <laughs> the first part of the best on HSN today. I like our dear friend Alice. <laughs> we love Alice. She's going to help people prepare for the worst of this hurricane right now. When she comes to town. But she's going to go somewhere else. And things are going to be okay now. For sure, Peter. <laughs> well, we're trying to make pre preparations around here. Regina's going to be very happy with all the hurricane stuff she got. After we relax for the next several hours, we're going to pack up and get ready to go. The Harrisons will join us for those next several hours as well. It'll be all right. Because we got a mix of the best of HSN pre-recorded. Pre-recorded. I'd like to thank a lot of people for their support. We're working to keep the rest of the HSN family safe in Nashville and Orlando. Oh, well. As well as strong homes where some HSN hosts live. Our new host, Michelle, lives in a very strong home, so she's going to have to survive the worst from her home. Oh, well. Here's a good presentation. Friends are watching Big Shannon nail something else. I've loved Big Shannon over the years here at HSN. She's been around here since the late 90s. Do you agree with her, Matt? I agree 100%, Peter. <laughs> She's going to have to survive the storm, too. But I think we're still making preparations for the next several hours, and the Harrisons will help. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure.
Oh, that's going to be good. I guess HSN is airing the best of HSN Hurricane Edition. And as we do it, we're going to talk to each other about preparations for the next several hours. <laughs> the Harrisons will join us in less than two hours from now to help us. Yeah, that's about exactly right. Yes. <coughs> Bad cough, Peter. That's okay, Regina. But it'll be all right with that. We've got food, drinks, snacks, portable electronics, cell phones, cell phone chargers, everything we need to help us. Those things could help us deal with the hurricane. A friend would like to use her portable DVD player to watch a TV show in the event of a power outage caused by this hurricane. Well, it turned out for me in 2004 when Charlie Francis, Ivan, and Jean struck. Remember that, Nat? I sure do, Peter. I can't believe Charlie Francis, Ivan, and Jean struck Florida in 2004. Well, that was a big year for a hurricane. It sure was. Well, Nikita's going to make her own preparations for Irma this instant. But I'm pretty sure she'll be able to survive the storm. We hope she partners with Big Shannon. <laughs> Wait, where's little Shannon going? Little Shannon, the host of HSN Today with Guy, she's going to have to sit home. She has a strong home now. Oh, well. Her house is real strong. It's just as strong as the hotel we're about to stay at. I hope the Orlando Hotel is not going to get damaged. I hope our studios are not going to get damaged as well by the impact of the hurricane. <laughs> we are going to be very happy to make preparedness actions. Yeah. A friend of mine would love to have a deal like this. Oh well. We're going to need our laptops. We're going to be able to pack those for what appears to be a massive event. I do believe... It'll be all right, Peter. We have to stay away from those big, bad winds and those big, bad rain streaks. <laughs> you think those were rain streaks? They're actually raindrops. We have to stay away from those big, bad winds, and we will be able to stay away from those big, bad raindrops because of the hurricane. Raindrops and winds are a big part of a hurricane. Yeah, no. They're just as big as a storm surge. We're going to be able to survive it, too. Yeah. We'll gather some families with us. I mean, we'll gather some families with us. Correct me if I'm wrong once again. But are you ready? It's going to be a massive storm, as far as I'm concerned. Yep. And we will be able to deal with it, for sure. Oh, well. <laughs> I do believe that Big Shannon is prepared for Hurricane Irma. I hope Big Shannon is prepared, too. <laughs> there are a bunch of boxes and storage kits to help us prepare for Irma. Do we have to make a lasting impression? We're going to have to make a move here as we get prepared for this massive hurricane. Yup! And we will be right about this massive storm for sure. Oh well. The previously recorded presentation shows a woman working on Windows 7. It's actually a pre-recorded model. 
a model that looks like she doesn't work for HSN. Well, that model doesn't have the requirements. That was the model in the video from the pre-recorded tape. Gotta love that fix me stick. I'm gonna have to get a fix me stick and do whatever I can. I had to pack it with my laptop so we can all go. Yeah. And a friend of mine would have to love the way they had to go shopping. Did the same friend go shoe shopping one morning? Yep, that friend did all right. We're almost ready to deal with the worst of Hurricane Irma. Yeah. Hurricane Irma is going to be a bad storm for some. What do you think, Regina? I think it's going to be a bad storm, too. <laughs> yeah. When a friend's got to have antivirus software, the same friend has got to have a fix me stick. So, we're going to be able to pack my fix me stick with my laptop. Oh well. I hope this laptop is going to survive Hurricane Irma. I hope it and the charger won't get damaged for sure. Yeah. A friend of mine would have to do something impressive. Don't worry, Matt, but I'd like to thank you for your consideration as we make preparedness as we continue to prepare for Irma. And it's going to be exciting around here for the next several hours. <laughs> yeah. We might almost have all day as we make preparations for an exciting event. It's going to be one of the worst hurricanes in history to hit Florida. <laughs> But we have tough jobs when a friend loves to have some fun. Who wants to have tough jobs? Does anyone want to have tough jobs today? Which job is tough? Well, I'm going to have to deal with something real closely. Are you watching a good deal? The best requirement that HSN may be able to sell a fix me stick for three PCs or three Apple Macintosh computers. I already know that Windows is my best bet for a laptop along with fix me stick. I agree that a friend listens to Big Shannon talk about fix me stick right now. Yeah! At least we are reacting the presentation of the fix me stick that's pre-recorded as part of the best of HSN, but the best of HSN actually keeps getting better every morning. Is that true, Peter? That's what you said earlier. Is that true, Peter? Yes, Matt, it sure is. But... <laughs> A friend came into me one day and she noticed that she was ready to have some fun. She told me, Peter, are you going out on a date? And I told her, no. But then she went, oh yeah, we're going to have some fun. And then I went, yeah, we are going to have some fun for sure, but we're not going out on a date. So... Our date was already canceled because of our plans to prepare for Irma. Yeah, we are going to enjoy it for sure. As far as we're noticing changes around here at HSN, I know the change that happened last month. We started running the best of HSN in the early morning. Oh, well, we had a five-hour test run for 15 shows. And then we were back to the best over a week ago. But 
right now we're making preparations for a big storm. It'll have big rain, big wind, and the possibility of a storm surge, really. Yeah. We're gonna have to deal with it, Peter. And I'm pretty sure that those winds were going to be really hard. But I do believe there are people having fun. That's right. There are people having fun and getting ready to go to sleep. Usually in the early morning. But right now, they're packing up and getting ready for Hurricane Irma. We gotta go. We gotta be alright with that. Oh well. The Harrisons may be in a rush to help us. We're gonna deal with the worst of a hurricane like this. People are having some serious fun around here at HS1. Yeah. And I do believe that everyone is about to be happy. Yes, we sure are going to be happy for sure. I hear that other people are counting on you. Not sure you're going to be all right with that. I am going to be all right, Peter. But what does it take to help us prepare for the storm? A bunch of people. They'll help us prepare for Hurricane Irma. We're about to be ready right now. <laughs> and a friend wants to finish her hurricane shopping before she goes. Um, I'm pretty sure. Where is she off to because of the hurricane? Presumably, she's going with us to Orlando. Is she? Yeah. The date was cancelled because of the hurricane's impact. I had better not imply with some bad people. Instead, I'd imply with good people. I had better do that right away as we prepare. <laughs> Can you believe it? I know I can't because it's going to be a massive hurricane after all. Gotta be ready. Yeah, we do. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Trust me. You're gonna want to be with us. <laughs> I do believe. But who are the Harrisons going to be going with? Well, Eddie and Kelly are going to go somewhere. In this case, they're going to Orlando. In what vehicle will be riding? Well, I guess the Harrisons would be riding in a van. People will have to ride in vans to go to Orlando. Are they taking vans? Oh, I guess they're going to have to take vans for sure. Oh, yeah. We'll get in ours to go to Orlando. And the Harrisons will ride in theirs. I guess... I guess... Little Valerie is their friend. And... It'll be alright with that. Yes, but little Valerie has a car that can deal with some kind of driving abilities. Well, I'm going to have to understand. Safety is number one in my mind. Oh yeah, we're going to have to deal with something bad. If we want to deal with something bad, but let's deal with something good for now. The good thing about it is preparedness for the worst of a hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> but the Harrisons are still sleeping now as we get set for a good feeling. Ready? Well, we're pretty sure that everybody's ready to have the worst of Hurricane Irma from somewhere. Yeah. Everybody's actually going to stay away from the worst of Hurricane Irma. And I know there are a lot of electronic gifts and gadgets that can be used during the storm. Before, during, and after the storm. Well, you gotta be kidding me. Ready for some more fun, Peter? I sure am ready. But who's got the giggles after all? A friend wears a pair of goggles. 
there's a friend who could wear safety goggles in the rain, but I thought about that. When anybody wants to have some fun here, I thought it would be a big idea for anyone who would love to have it. Oh yeah, I'm on my mind after all those days. She had modified concerns when Eddie's sister Kelly liked it. Kelly sure had a lot of fun as a model. Somehow, somehow, we are working to keep other parts of the HSN family safe during Hurricane Irma, and we will be excited. We know we're going to be prepared for sure. Yes, we really are. You know it takes time, so we're going to have to stay together. I do think it's going to have to be a good part of the fun at HSN. As far as I know, Adam did a good presentation on an HP laptop. <laughs> Are you serious? All right, Kelly. We're happy to wake up and ready to be a part of more hurricane fun here at HSN. We sure are, Eddie. Ready for Hurricane Irma? Peter knows it's going to bring big rain and big wind, as well as the possibility of a storm surge. It'll be all right, though. And we are taking a good chance to prepare. Oh well. I can't believe Amy, a mainstay on Beauty Report, is going to prepare for the storm. She is making preparations right now. Can you believe it? I know I can't. It's going to be a surprise hurricane for us. She'll surprise anyone here at HSN. They're taking their preparations. But I do believe Regina is helping us survive the worst of this hurricane. Oh well, it'll be all right. The worst might not get better after all. Do you believe that things are going to be all right, sis? They sure will be, Eddie. I mean... Things are going to be real fun. <laughs> yeah? Peter says that we're about to go to a strong hotel here in Orlando. The same hotel is in Florida, but it's in Orlando, and we are going to be going there to ride out Hurricane Irma. Yeah. There's lots of hurricane supplies loaded. Portable DVD players, portable CD players, laptop computers, cameras, calculators, batteries, radios, and of course, jewelry, and of course, fashions. Do you love fashions, Kelly? I love fashions after all, which is why a friend has packed an incredible item. Once again, we know Amy, a mainstay on Beauty Report. Oh, well. Good thinking about it. A friend in mine would be all right. The Amy who enjoyed the model to host transition was a good show host on HSN. But it'll be all right. Hi, Regina. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> and hi, Miss Harrison. We are going to be ready for Hurricane Irma, and I already talked to Peter and Matt. Oh. Peter and Matt are preparing, too. For the next several hours, we are preparing. Oh, well. It'll be all right, though. We're going to have a lot of fun as we prepare for the hurricane. Oh, yeah. There's a friend of mine who would love to have some fun as we prepare for the worst of this monster storm. And I can't believe it, sis. It's going to be a monster. They believe it's going to be a Category 5 hurricane with a bad impact. 
I hope it's going to be downgraded to a Category 4, Category 3, Category 2, or even a Category 1. Or a tropical storm. Alright, we'll pray it's going to be downgraded. Oh well. There's lots of hurricane supplies. In addition to the aforementioned electronics, I bet um, uh, there are calculators and, as I mentioned, that's right, calculators, as you mentioned, and what other supplies? Well, non-perishable food and drinks, water, bedding, pillows, briefcases. <laughs> it's fun here at HSN. It's still going to be fun for the next several hours as we get set to prepare. Oh, well. If you love Beauty Report, you'll love Amy for sure. A friend watches her all the time. <laughs> Who cares about this? And now, we're trying to make preparations for the storm. So, all we have to do is know the calm before the storm. It's going to be okay as we get set to deal with the worst. Well, things are going to be all right here. I just want a number for sure. A number? A phone number? Oh, well. Her number is 872-1000. So, you got to be kidding me. Oh, well. There's always a plenty of fun. Yes. And we got to be okay with that. Oh, yes. A friend of mine would love to have some fun. Wait a second. We've got our fitness model, Barbara. Hi, Barb. And Barb's going to help us prepare for the storm as well. Yeah, I do believe Peter and Nat are ready. Yeah. I have a friend in mind who would love to have some fun. Peter had been on summer vacation for two weeks. He noticed he had a feeling at last when he went to the beach. He decided that there was beach erosion. Beach erosion may be a possible risk during Irma. Well, you're going to know that, Eddie, I'm sure. <laughs> we are going to have a lot of fun. All right? Yes, we are. Yeah! <laughs> Things will turn out the way they are right now for us here at HSN for several hours. We'd be out of here in the next several hours and go to Orlando. And go to Orlando. That's right. We are making preparations. <laughs> And it's going to be a weather emergency. It sure is, sis. I agree, Eddie. <laughs> well, a friend of mine would have to do something good. But I'm very pleased that our girlfriend Valerie and I share the same birth month. I was born on July 1st, and she was born a couple weeks later, in this case, three. <laughs> but my birthday is on July 1st, when's Valerie's? July 22nd? Yes. <laughs> and we had a big birthday celebration about two months ago. It was our 40th birthday. Yeah, HSN's 40th birthday sure was a milestone. We can't believe we enjoyed every moment of it. Oh, well, and what's next? <laughs> All right, we're having some fun. We're working to keep the rest of the HSN family safe during Irma. 
as they travel to Nashville, but we're going to Orlando. I guess Peter and Nat will be there. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a great time. And the last to go would be our friend Karen. Oh, well. I agree that um, Peter is still talking to Matt. Karen, on the other hand, talks to Susan. The rest of the Miller family is off to a different part of West Central Florida. Yes, she's off. Oh, well. Susan's going somewhere. We're going to Orlando. And our dear friend Valerie is on that tape right now. <laughs> That's little Valerie in this case. She's going to Orlando. We might need to talk to her beautiful husband or something like that. Her beautiful husband is Justin. <laughs> well, I hope Valerie's hubby survives the storm as well. If you like little Valerie, I hope her hubby survives Irma. Yep. <laughs> I hope both Valerie and Justin survive. <laughs> but you know what we're going to do? We're going to have our own hurricane supplies. What do you like? Doritos, Cheetos, and other lace snacks. Oh, yeah. How about M&M's? M&M's are a good treat for hurricanes. <laughs> because the milk chocolate melts in your mouth. Not in your hand. <laughs> Who cares, sis? We care about that. We care about it. <laughs> I know. That little Valerie can help prepare for Irma this instant. And she's doing it right now. She's making last minute preparations. And... Things are going to be well kept, and we know there's going to be a lot of wind, there's going to be a lot of rain, and there's going to be a possibility of a storm surge around here, so. you got to be kidding, are you? I sure am kidding, all right. We are going to be ready after all those preparations are made. Mm, everybody's going to be all right with that. Are you making plans right now? For us to prepare for the hurricane? Yep. A friend would love to do it. People from here at HSN just booked the Strong Orlando Hotel. Oh, yeah. We booked the hotel stay for many nights. Oh, that's good news. <laughs> If we're going to Orlando, then um, little Valerie and Justin go there. I hope little Valerie and Justin get there with us. Hey, uh, how about Valerie? Oh, she's a model on HSN. Maybe she can go there with us. Is that true, sis? Yes, Daddy, it sure is. And we are having a great time for those next several hours. Yes, we're getting ready to prepare. I love it. I love it. Huh. Well, when we've got to be ready, everybody's got to be ready for Irma. She's about to make landfall here in Florida. Brett noticed. Well, I love Brett too as much as I love you, Eddie. You're right, Kelly. Peter has all the time he has to be ready for Irma. I agree with him. Peter knows he has a lot of hurricane supplies as much as we do. What do you think about Peter's preparation for the storm? He's going to have to deal with it right away. Yes, and he's going to have to deal with it at a certain time or something like that. 
Can his friend have to have a phone number? I'm not sure if he had to have a phone number for sure. A friend of mine would love to have mint candy one day. Yeah. In this case, I guess Peter had it. Peter? Oh my goodness. Why does Peter have to have a lot of mint candy one day? A friend of mine would notice. Lori is on that encore tape right now. And that lemonade shirt. That's right. It is a lemonade colored shirt. It looks like Lori is wearing it. <laughs> but I like little Valerie and she's been a host here for over a year. She has blonde hair. Sometimes she has a little curl sometimes. Yeah, she does. She's got a little curls in her hair sometimes. <laughs> but Peter and Matt had to have an opportunity to chat with you and Sonia. Is that true, Regina? It sure is. So we're getting ready for Hurricane Irma. Are you in the going to be in the war path just like Irma? No, we're not gonna be in the war path as much as she is. No, not the war path. We're not gonna be in the war path. Oh, it's a war, not war. Uh oh, I said the wrong word. No, I said the wrong word, but you said the right one. <laughs> I thought we were going to have some preparedness actions right now. Are you going to be all right with that? We've got a lot of emergency equipment because of the possibility of a massive power outage here in Florida. <laughs> I know this storm is going to be big. Who needs a better umbrella? <laughs> oh well, little Valerie liked it, and she presented it one day with Lori. Oh yeah, thanks for reacting to the encore tape that's on the best of HSN right now. <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> Wait a second, we will be all right with that. You know. A lot of hurricane survivors had ended up at all children's here in St. Pete. <laughs> Has any child ever been to all children's in a hurricane? The same child would go to the hospital in the event of a hurricane like that. Yeah, a friend could go to another St. Pete hospital while two of her kids had wound up at all children's with surgery. Oh, yeah. So, were there those two kids at the hospital? At all children's, there were. I've been to all children's before. All children's hospital was a good hospital for somebody. <laughs> I've been to all children's before as well. <laughs> One day, Guy had to go to all children's hospital with vomiting as a little kid. <laughs> but I do remember that there were good times for kids at all children's. And there are still good times for kids at all children's as well. <laughs> I guess Peter's kids had to go to all children's in the past too. Yep, they sure did go to all children's. <laughs> as much as I have. I went to all children's for surgery one day. <laughs> yeah. Huh. What's the best part about a St. Pete kid having surgery? The same kid would have surgery at all children's, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. If I had kids, I'd take them to all children's. It still exists as a hospital. I do care about it. All Children's was on 6th Street South, but it's now on 6th Avenue South. Oh, yeah. 
I went there when it was on 6th Street South, and there were nurses at the old All Children's Building. <laughs> I do care about someone who wound up at All Children's with surgery. A kid winds up, <laughs> he winds up at All Children's with surgery. Who cares if the kid goes to All Children's? All children. Oh. <laughs> I had surgery at all children's too when I was a kid. <laughs> I can't believe all children can fix some parts of my body. A friend goes to all children's, has surgery, and comes back home. You know? Oh. If a friend was out to all children's before the hurricane hit. All right. I hope some kids who are hospitalized get to all children's before the hurricane hits it. <laughs> all children's is the place for kids to be when they're hospitalized. I bet Lori's kids ended up at all children's. Uh, and Peter's kids ended up at all children's in the past. Well, <laughs> we've talked about All Children's Hospital for a couple of minutes now. <laughs> and we'll talk more about All Children's later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one day a friend had to get insurance as well as hurricane protection. I noticed a hurricane protection company was having fun with the friend. The same hurricane protection company can help us in the event of Hurricane Irma. It's about to happen sometime soon here in Florida. We're going to the Strong Orlando Hotel to wait out Irma. Yeah. Well, what's the difference with some kids riding out Irma at all children's? They sure are riding out the storm at all children's. <laughs> Even little Valerie's children have been all right with that. If little Valerie had kids, then she would take the kids to all children's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if Peter had ended up at a hospital for surgery. Yeah, he had to go to the hospital for the surgery. The hospital had some plans. He recovered at the hospital, but he had a little bit of injuries. Yeah. He took five kids to all children's. All children's had a bunch of surgeries. Yeah. We talked about all children's. And we'll never do it again till later. All right. But right now, let's talk about Irma. <laughs> It'll be all right, though. And we're just making plans. We are planning. Oh, yes. What's with the American Red Cross? Right now, the Red Cross is helping people in Texas affected by Hurricane Harvey. Oh, well. What do you think about Hurricane Harvey, Seth? Well, I think about Harvey because people in social media could nickname Hurricane Steve Harvey. Well, what do you think of that hurricane nickname? I bet it was nicknamed after Steve Harvey, an actor. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, some people called it Hurricane Steve Harvey for sure. Huh. I bet Steve Harvey was a perfect nickname for Hurricane Harvey. Uh, oh, well, we're working together for survival skills. So, um, there was a good host at first, then there was Valerie. 
then there was little Valerie. And now, how about Leslie? Ah. <laughs> uh, Leslie's going to prepare for Hurricane Irma as well. Hey, what do you think of Leslie? Are you ready for something good? Well, I got to be having an interesting factor. I got to be having an interesting factor. Oh, you're wrong. Okay, correct me, though. So. All right. Leslie's about to join us. She'll help us prepare for Hurricane Irma. Oh, well. The crew goes bigger. I mean, grows bigger. The crew is about to grow bigger. The people that'll help us prepare for Hurricane Irma. It's about to go bigger and bigger. Well, you said grow. You could say grow. You mean grow, after all. Alright. I'm wrong, too. Both of us were wrong. And, um... Regina, could you correct me? Grow was the word. Sure was the word, Regina. Well, thanks, Miss Harrison, and we are ready. We are almost ready. By the way, we are getting ready for help from friends. Oh, yeah. Peter's been dealing with hurricanes before. But why Peter? He has some preparations for us. Yeah. Everybody has to be all right with that. And when we're getting prepared for the worst of Hurricane Irma, then Leslie's helping people. I bet Leslie will help some people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a big storm after all. All right, there are people going to help us prepare for Hurricane Irma in several hours. Valerie, little Leslie, Brett. And Amy. And Amy, Valerie O, in addition to little Valerie. Oh, well. I am a boyfriend to little Valerie, and may have loved her husband, Justin. Well, that's nice of you. And things will be all right with that. Everybody's going to have strong increments when they prepare for a hurricane like this. Oh, that'll be nice of you. <laughs> Everybody's going to have to be prepared somehow. Well, Peter knows that safety is our top priority here at HSN. It's still fun here at HSN. It's still going to be for the next couple of hours. All right. We can't be ready just yet. It's still dark outside. Oh, wow. And we're about to go to breakfast as usual. Oh, yeah. Can we have donuts, sis? We sure will have donuts. And deli sandwiches for some people in case their power goes out. And I hope Leslie's house doesn't get damaged. I hope little Valerie's house doesn't get damaged as well. She loves Justin, so I hope their house doesn't get damaged. By Irma! Oh, well, we got to be ready for all this. Yeah. Oh, we are going to make a move right now. We are hoping for a chance to have a good time and survive. Yeah, we should be ready as far as I know. Peter's been dealing with hurricanes before, and once again, he's fine. I guess Peter will be ready, too. Susan's going somewhere. Matt is going to help Peter prepare for the storm. <laughs> I bet Leslie will help some HSN fans prepare. 
Well, if we love Leslie, then she's going to help HSN fans prepare for the storm. Well, there are a bunch of HSN fans here. So, let's be honest. They just evacuated their West Central Florida homes recently. So now they're going to have to go to Orlando with us. So, are we all teaming up against those HSN fans? We sure are going to partner with our HSN fans. All but those who live in town. If those are still in town. Oh, well. At least. Actually, all but a friend from St. Pete College. All right. Most of the friends from St. Pete College will be joining us. SPC is a great college after all. Both of us used to go to college there. Oh, yeah. And we had fun at our own college dorm watching Rhonda. Oh, well. We're beautiful fans of Rhonda and HSN. Oh, well. It'll be all right. But as far as I know, this is the hour for us to deal with a lot of emergency preparedness. Oh, yeah. A friend would love to bring a deli sandwich to be happy. She's going to have to be prepared for the worst of a possibility of a hurricane. Leslie's prepared. But she's going to have to make last-minute preparations just like us. HSN fans in the Tampa Bay area and throughout Central Florida are making their respective last-minute preparations for Irma. Oh, well. They're going to need a good thing, such as electronics, non-perishable food and drinks, as well as bedding, from pillows to blankets. Oh, yeah. Sleep stuff. Oh, yeah. We are going to pack our sleep stuff. In a few short hours, we would be ready for the worst of Hurricane Irma which might even happen on a beautiful Sunday night into a Monday morning. Oh, yeah, we're going to be right about that. I did have enough time. A friend of mine would do something good. Hey, Matt. Hey, Eddie. How are you? I'm doing fine, Matt. I love Nestle Crunch. And I bought a lot of Nestle Crunch because I like it. How am I going to go to Orlando? Well, you're going to have to ride in Peter's van. You're not riding in our van, are you? No, I'm riding in Peter's van. <laughs> well, it's worth the wait. <laughs> you got to be happy when we are ready for the worst of a monster hurricane. I know it's a Category 5, Matt. I sure am noticing it, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. I talked to Peter about two hours ago. Yeah. Well, Peter should be right about that. you got to ride in his van. Um, of course, a pretty girl is driving it. In this case, our friend Donna, who is an HSN model. <laughs> I bet Donna is going to help us prepare for the hurricane as well. Well, I can't believe Donna is going to make last-minute prep. Yeah. And as we know, we will be all right with that. How about the consequences for the Red Cross? Do people deal with a lot of other people? When they deal with a hurricane like this. You know what, Matt? There will never have been a hurricane like this until now. <coughs> oh, bad cough, Eddie. I'm sorry about that, Matt. 
Let me go back to my sister, Kelly. Thanks, Matt. See you in a while. You're welcome, Eddie. Sis. Yes, Eddie. Now is the time to sit back and relax for several more hours to be prepared. Leslie has a chance, and she's making last-minute prep as well. For fans of Leslie, if you love Leslie, it'll be alright. I hope Matt loves Le Leslie. Matt has loved Leslie ever since she joined HSN back in 2011. First that common host, then little Valerie, and then Leslie. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Little Valerie and Leslie are making last-minute preparations. Why Leslie, Miss Harrison? Oh, well. It'll be all right with that. Friend in mine had Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Who cares about Swiss Miss? Swiss Miss is fresh-tasting hot chocolate that one can enjoy. Are you going to be right about that, sis? I'm right about Swiss Miss, but it won't be long. Our coffee maker won't be working during Hurricane Irma, so I'm not going to be able to make any Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Well, we're still going to be able to make Swiss Miss chocolate in Orlando. The hotel will still have power, I hope. Oh, yeah. When we get there, it'll still have power. It'll have clean beds for us. Oh, yeah. We gotta bring our own pillows. For sure. Yeah. It'll be alright for things in the future, ma'am. Yes. An event happened during our 40th birthday month in July. My dear friend Marlo, who's been with us since 97, is okay with that. Where does she want to go? She doesn't want to get hit by Hurricane Irma? Oh, well. Marlo decided that Irma was about to hit her old house. One of her old houses in Miami? Yeah. So, first, that common host, then little Valerie, then Leslie, and now Marlo. Yeah. Regina, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I sure am. Are you the first of models for one of your friends? I was Rhonda's first model. <laughs> Are you helping us, the Harrisons? Yes. I sure am glad to help you, if you dare to help us. Well, you got to be right about that. Regina, I'm so happy that you're here. And we are going to be here for several hours. That's right. Several more hours of help and preparedness for at least the final hour. We will be all right with that. <laughs> and we sure will. I guess uh, Peter and Matt are preparing for Irma. Do they have any consequences with the storm? They sure am having consequences with the storm. But why Peter? Why Matt? Peter has enough time to prepare. He's got to be a serious man when he wants to have a preparedness action. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can Peter read a newspaper? Yes, he can. Well, he won't be stranded in the dark. Why Peter? Peter is not going to be stranded in the dark. He has to go with us to a strong hotel in Orlando. And that's where we're all going, right? Right. Ah, yes, we have some interesting facts about a lot of other people. Sure. 